The holidays are officially here and next up is Thanksgiving. We're stacking our Turkey Day favorite leftovers on this sub. If you wanna see our take on this Thanksgiving leftover sub, then stick around while we dig in. I can't believe the Wall Twins. They're right there. That's one of them. That's the other one. I'm the other one. Hey, welcome back. I'm Adam. I'm Brett. And we are the Wall Twins. If this is your first time here with us, welcome. welcome. Consider subscribing and hit the notification bell so you don't miss anything that we do together, especially during the holiday season, bro. Dude, can you believe it's here? 2020, am I right? <laughs> Hashtag, Jeez. am I right? Hashtag, yes I am. All right. Oh God. Regardless of what 2020 has brought, we gotta find reasons to still be grateful and thankful for all the things that it has brought us. And what better way to say thank you than with turkey? <laughs> <laughs> Listen. A great meal. Right, and we wanted to just kind of do a mock run through of what we do the day after Thanksgiving, especially now with the Blackstone Grill. Yep of the best way to build a sub with all the leftovers. But Brett, let's get to the groceries in case people aren't quite sure what you have on a Thanksgiving <laughs> Okay, so our typical traditional Thanksgiving is, are these simple things right here that we're gonna put on the sub. No, we're gonna leave out the green bean casserole mm -hmm. and, <laughs> and the deviled eggs. Oh, even the but fruit, remember the fruit salad with the fruit marshmallows salad in it? And the oh, oranges man. and tangerines, yeah. that's right. So the groceries we have, we called it stuffing growing up. Many people call it dressing. So we have that, we've got the uh, cranberry sauce, the gravy, the turkey gravy. We're using this pre-cooked, pre-cut turkey. No, this isn't our leftovers because Thanksgiving <laughs> hasn't happened yet. And our mashed potatoes, and we're gonna throw it on these amazing hoagie rolls. That's right, and I love these rolls from Publix, man. These things are legit. We're gonna toast those up. Yep. All we're using the griddle for is to really warm up the turkey. This is gonna be a but fast this cook. Is, <laughs> this is gonna be a fast cook. It's a holiday favorite, and we just wanted to come and do this, and really just to give a holiday cook and be here with you guys. Thank you so much for being here. Real quick, we want to talk about our Patreon yep. page. Patreon is just one of the many ways in which people have chosen to help support us. Yep, it's a multi-tiered way that you can show a little support for us. And it comes with uh, some perks, whether it's things from behind the scenes, some live sessions with us one-on-one, -on -one, and of course, merchandise and discount on merchandise. Absolutely, and we couldn't say thank you enough to our patrons who have already signed up. Thank you so much, all of you, just for being here and watching, regardless of how you choose to support, to support us. us. And this is a quick, easy cook. We just wanted to share with you because you know what it's just a fun holiday season and we just love it we're cooking low and slow it's gonna be medium low all we're doing is warming up the turkey we're gonna toast the bread and we're gonna build this sandwich. building this thing is gonna be the funnest part of this video that's right so all we're doing now obviously if this was sliced turkey we'd have these big nice chunks of leftover turkey but we have these nice perfectly sliced deli Dude, slices that nice little sizzle that we're getting that's right the crowd's well, some of this is breaking off so it doesn't matter at this good point 15 right? yard play good 15 yard play so in fact, you know what? Breaking this up is actually the way to go, bro, because then it'll be easier to toss in instead of these slices like that, right? Oh, didn't even think, see? Because that's how it normally is, the leftover. It's kind of the broken right? up leftover piece and you cut it up so it's easier to put on the sub. <laughs> this is so hot, bro. These are just <laughs> warm pieces of turkey. Yeah, I'm breaking this all up. Just decided breaking this up is gonna be a little Don't bit better. You want more? I, I'd ha rather have more hot meat on there. Heck yeah. And then build and be, build and be like, oh man, we should have put more meat. You got it. All right, I think our turkey is a warm brother. I'm gonna move this off to the side. We can get our rolls warmed up. All yes. we're doing is warming the outside. We, we were gonna toast the inside, and then we thought, you know what? Let's just warm them up on the outside so we can use them more to, to as a bull type vessel yes <laughs> so the bread can actually absorb the gravy which right. is going to be ridiculous in this so similar to what we do with our philly cheesesteaks we do warm up the outside of the rolls first that's all we're going to do this is literally to just get these warmed up get them nice and hot and then we'll get our build on
bro. Because this is exactly what we do every single day. <laughs> we built these a little bit fat. <laughs> Normally, I'll just get white bread, lay some turkey down, the mashed potatoes and gravy and the cranberry sauce. It's just a little... A lot thinner than this. Right, but Brett was laughing while I was building his, and I knew I wanted to make him fuck. We thought we'd get stupid with this. And we Success. did that. You know, and this is this is amazing. This is what we're going to do with From our now leftovers. On. Toss the meat on the blacks, which, by the way, yes. when it got hot, it made it so amazing. I'm, I've always done, like, a cold turkey sandwich. I can't do a cold turkey sandwich no. anymore. I always, I, I always warm mine up in the microwave. No. This is the way to go. <laughs> this is totally the way to do it, and especially get those warm uh, rules on there nice and warm. You know what? I don't know the way to do it. But how to fit this in my mouth. <laughs> We're going to find out. But Brett, like we say, it can look amazing. Oh, Come on. It can smell amazing. It, it smells, smells like, like Thanksgiving. Thanksgiving. <laughs> totally. <laughs> But if this doesn't taste amazing, this was all, all for not. not. Cheers. I'll eat to that, my, my brother. brother. I was going to set that down, but maybe I can unhinge my jaw. Can... <laughs> it's a Guy Fieri. Uh, mm. Mm. I got mm. everything in that bite. Mm -hmm. Everything in that bite. Mm. Mm -hmm. mm. Yep. Yep. Tastes like Thanksgiving. It tastes like Thanksgiving. Oh, my God. That hoagie roll, bro. The first taste I got... It was a cranberry mm. sauce. Oh my gosh. And then the gravy mm. gets right in there. Mashed potatoes are perfect. They're buttery mashed potatoes. The turkey is turkey. So you know what you're getting with that. And this hoagie has, again, the- What a brilliant vessel. Look, it, it still is, is holding uh, together. It is not. I've the integrity anything. of these hoagies that we get at Publix are absolutely amazing. Oh my gosh. And this is- And yeah. you saw me build those thick, bro all the way in there. If we turn it sideways, we're losing the whole Thanksgiving dinner. We're going to ruin Thanksgiving. <laughs> you gotta you just literally eat have right. to you eat it, it like right. this. <laughs> Otherwise, it's over. It's mm. over. You know what? Mm. You know what I love is actually that tang of that cranberry sauce on there that just gives it so much sweetness in that savory, savory bite. I got to put that down. But one thing we I haven't even mentioned yet is the dressing slash stuffing. stuffing. Oh. That is one of my favorite parts of, of the sides of turkey, my favorites are mashed potatoes and gravy and stuffing. Yeah, man, and, and that great. is it. And the cranberry sauce is just, I, I'm going to take one more bite. I hope you don't mind. <laughs> so would we consider this a Blackstone cook? No, probably not. No. All we did was use it to warm it up. But that's one more thing that the griddle can do is you can warm up these dishes, bring it outside. And that was a super, super fun dish. But it's the holiday season. We hope your holidays are going absolutely amazing this year. It is 2020. It's been a rough year. And we hope that this year there's a lot to be grateful for and thankful for. I'm thankful for this. I'm thankful for the, the, the dish. <laughs> this was thankful awesome. Thankful for you. Thankful for you, especially. Absolutely. And thank you so much for taking the time to, to, to spend some time with us. And for actually the growth this year, we have a lot to reflect on this year. And we'll be doing that more as we get closer to the end of the year. Yes. But we're grateful for it at this point. So, Brett, aside from coming to make this amazing, amazing day after Thanksgiving classic. The leftover classic. Why else are we coming out here to do this? Because all we do is thank and twin. No, no matter, matter what. what. And with that, we bid you adieu. And adult. Forget, Forget to, to like and subscribe. And griddle on. on.